Yeah, I'm not getting any audio from you. Connecting to oh, okay. What's up, guys? Hey, Woo! what's up? There you are. Awesome. <laughs> How's, How's it going? going? I'm good. How about you guys? Good. Oh, doing good. Yeah. Yeah. Just got home from doing another podcast, actually. <laughs> Super last minute and scary. Yeah. <laughs> We've never been like on location like that. Yeah. Now there's a Idaho Comedy Fest is coming up, so we. Uh, got they just did a podcast with the coordinators of that oh, nice. luckily they were talkers yeah, yeah they were big talkers <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. yep. all right hi i'm chris and i'm wendy and welcome to the toasted, toasted marshmallow adventures podcast, podcast. Yeah. Woo! Tonight, via Zoom, we have <laughs> podcaster Ashton Bruce yes. from the Full Blown Adulting Podcast. Yes. Welcome. Say hello. <laughs> What's up, everyone? <laughs> How you are know, you at tonight? At first, I, I wasn't sure oh. whether it was Ashton Bruce or Bruce Ashton. So just a couple days ago, I erased it. I get it. It's Ashton Bruce. I thought that was like two first name kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> weird, too, because really only my parents call me Ashton. Everyone- oh, what do you go by? Bruce mainly. I, I was in uh, the army for a few years and always playing sports and stuff. And then you would tell somebody your name and they'd be like, Hey, my name's Ashton. They'd be like, Austin. Oh, I'd be like, yeah. Ashley. I'm like, Bruce. And they're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. Well, very nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. Great to meet you. Um, so yeah, looking, uh, at your stuff online and uh we've i know you sent us something today unfortunately we didn't have time to look at that but we checked out anything else we could find online about and it's, you it's actually super cool to see your normal face color because oh, i yeah. was making stuff to like p- promote you and none of them were your like actual face you were like rainbow yeah. <laughs> i'm just a typical white guy <laughs> yeah and now where are you located at uh, Washington, about an hour south of Seattle. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, cool. How about you guys? Nampa, Where? Idaho. Yeah, Nampa, Idaho. Close to Boise? Yeah. Yeah, about 15 miles from Boise. Nice. I've been there a couple of times. Got to see the old Smurf turf over oh, there. Yeah. yeah, that's a fun game. Yeah. yeah that's what we're famous for. <laughs> yeah. And potatoes. Turf. Yeah, that and potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> and I think skinheads as well, but we'll just. <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> A long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So have you always been from, are you originally from Washington? No, so I'm originally from Mississippi. Uh, oh, Buffalo. It's where, what's known for there is where Elvis was born. So it's every year they have like just tour buses and tour buses coming in of just a lot of Asians. <laughs> oh, really? It's, yeah. Pack this little tiny museum out and it, all the hotels are booked and the whole town's going crazy for like that week wow oh, wow yeah just a small town really uh it's growing a lot but um uh, yeah small town tupelo country boy mostly <laughs> yeah are you were you an elvis fan so way before my time you know my grandma for sure yeah, <laughs> yeah. no i do i do like some of his music for sure yeah <laughs> yeah i mean there's the classics you can't get, yeah go through life without hearing a million times yeah <laughs> yeah exactly are you having trouble hearing him in your i ears? am getting your um audio i'm not sure you're coming through a little echoey maybe let me see if I can fix that for you guys. I want it to be clear. Are you hearing it in your ears? I can I hear it in my headphones. Can you turn mine up? Yeah. Yeah. You might That's only stuff. be hearing them through the screen. That's what it feels like. Yeah. Let me try this, guys. See if this will work. No, I'm just going to leave the microphone. I'll go straight from the audio of the computer. Yeah, it's a difficult thing to get your uh, whole um, interface and mics to go and work together with the. Um, uh, zoom recording yeah so i've never actually done a zoom podcast i'm kind of excited about this oh cool oh good good we haven't done a ton of them yeah the first is, one was really scary yeah i think this is our third one we just <laughs> yeah. recently started doing them so but it's opened us up to a lot more people now you yeah. know that aren't close to us yeah when you asked me i was stoked honestly I was like, oh nice oh good 
good. Yeah, when we first started, uh, yeah, I think I would have kind of wished that someone would have asked us. Yeah. You know, or, um, but I kind of sometimes it feels like, especially when you're first starting out, you're kind of just this lone podcast in this huge sea of you, podcasters and you know and like what the hell are we doing yeah <laughs> <laughs> there's a whole lot of that <laughs> yeah exactly my whole setup probably twice already yeah yeah we were totally laughing at your when we listened to your podcast yeah you and your wife episode. same exact thing has gone down here where he bought all this shit and he then like it was maybe two weeks later he's like none of it's gonna work yeah exactly. <laughs> I totally have to change everything yeah sent all of that I was like, back. what are you fucking saying dude and then got shit that was four times as expensive yeah, <laughs> yeah. and well, there i honestly it seems like there's always something it's, yeah it's always or do you have plans to go to be on youtube to have a video podcast yeah, so eventually I, uh so i have like a, a little man cave game room with just a bunch of sports stuff hanging on the wall yeah so, I plan on turning a section of that into a, a video podcast. Like, oh, you got. nice. Yeah. That's why I asked you about that nice backdrop you got. I was like, man, that's yeah, cool. yeah. It's a good company. Just don't go with the first one we bought. Which yeah, was if you got a fabric, text, if think. you have a textured wall, get the canvas Just, one that sticks better to it than the, I think vinyl one yeah. that they sell. If you get in, but um, we have a couple of them. We have this one, and then. We have, you can't see it, but we have a smaller one on our other wall. We'll drop a photo in here of it <laughs> <laughs> once we uh, get this all edited up. Nice. Um, so, yeah, I was listening to your podcast and yeah, it was hilarious because I could relate yeah. on all the equipment shit that you were talking about. I was like, this sounds exactly <laughs> like when we started. <laughs> and yeah, when you go to video... There's a, oh my God. a ton more stuff to buy. Yeah. And it'll almost make your life a living hell kind of video production is way more difficult than audio yeah. production. So excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you you watched YouTube to figure a lot of it out, right? Yeah. I watched yeah. so many YouTube videos to figure almost yeah. out. It's, yep. it's nonstop. And he'll work on something for a week and go, I fucking figured it out. Like, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it's, it goes. YouTube's gotten there's not anything that you can't learn on YouTube these that's days. That's true. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Everything from podcasting to, yeah, I've learned how to install a hitch on my car on YouTube also. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I yeah. the water pump out on my truck. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Great off YouTube. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, what are your, uh, so, how long, I guess what I should ask you first is what got you into well, deciding to do a podcast? Oh man. So I don't know if there's one specific thing that got me there. So all day during, I'm a iron worker by trade. Mm-hmm. So all through the week, I just have headphones in. I'm listening to all kinds of podcasts, mostly comedians. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I listen to uh, Rogan. Everyone listens to Rogan. I hope. Yeah. And, um, you kind of look like Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> I usually get Tom Segura. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Glasses, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, I listen to The King and the Sting. Uh, yeah. I have a lot. Theo Vaughn. Yeah. Uh, I felt like just some of the stuff that they were doing, and all I was wanting to bring like a mixture of all of these different ones combined. That's mm-hmm. kind of what I really wanted. Like, I wanted a little sports over here, I wanted a little comedy over here. I want a little real life, a little family. So that's kind of what made me want to do it more than anything. Just a collection of everything. Yeah. And then now from deciding that you wanted to do it to putting out that first episode, how much time was uh, in that and, you know, between them? A good like three months. So the first week I was like super just gung ho all about (laughs) it. Yeah. Every night like completely just neglecting everything really (laughs) really watching all kinds of stuff trying to learn stuff trying to get my equipment to work properly yeah but uh yeah it was probably a good three months i even i created that instagram page got like 300 followers really fast and then it just there were like so many people messing hey when you're releasing it hey when are you gonna do this yeah working on it working on it yeah but uh, I think I got it down now. I got a couple of episodes loaded. I got one coming out next Friday with a, a good buddy of mine. 
that was I was in the ar army with and uh pretty it gets that one gets pretty deep so oh Does cool it? Yeah, is it like uh life stuff or military or a little bit of both so he had a a pretty significant injury he lost uh elbow down and knee mm. down on one side from uh stepping on IED over in Afghanistan oh wow so that just the whole story from before that whole day pretty much I just walked through that day and I've heard the story a bunch but uh he really went in depth with me on this oh, one wow He's one of my best friends so he was very comfortable with me doing it yeah that's really cool now what are your uh you know getting back into uh, podcasting equipment uh you um and your goals uh First of all, is there equipment that you want that you don't have right now? Uh, so I don't, I just, I think, uh, so I brought the uh, Rode Procaster, which is mm -hmm. an amazing setup. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that a lot. It's crazy for sure. Yeah. Um, and I have a, uh, the Rode uh, Procaster mic and I have the pod mics. Mm -hmm. I think I would get two more mics so I could do a full setup. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd like to have, be able to record with it at as many people as I could possibly. Mm -hmm. that yeah, yeah. We've got the uh, Zoom uh, Live Track L8, which uh, when I saw it the first time, I was like, "Oh, I think we need that." <laughs> I'm not gonna lie; I seen that one, and I was just intimidated by it. Honestly, oh, yeah. <laughs> it does have a lot of buttons that I don't know yeah. what they all do, but. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see if it can work <laughs> simpler is better for me yeah that guy at all that's been my biggest struggle with the whole podcasting thing as of now anyway is just getting everything to work properly yeah yeah that that's is a whole rough. bunch of it once you get it though you're good to go <clears throat> yeah until they upgrade or something or so something upgrade newer, and newer then, cooler yeah or you can have because we have portable a portable setup as well and uh yeah, so I don't know, it gets expensive. <laughs> and then with the YouTube thing, we have lights on the ceiling. This used to be uh, his daughter's room. Yeah. <laughs> Kicked her out and we're like, her bedroom. Yeah. Yep, now, if we sell studio. the house, we got to redo this room <laughs> or, or sell it to podcasters yeah, they, and yeah. they love it. Yeah. Like, you have to be a podcaster to buy the house. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can actually charge extra for the room. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's the value. So, uh, do you have any kidlets? Yeah, so I have a two year old and a three year old, and then my daughter is seven. Holy crap, that's wow. a busy house! Yeah, it is wild over here. Any animals? Yeah. <clears throat> no, no more. I we are we after we moved into the new house, we were like, we're, we're done with the animals. Yeah, got a, got a couple of dogs, and then almost both of them passed away. like right when we got into our new house and we're like now we're not doing it again. oh yeah I don't want to go that again wow yeah we just uh, not to bring it down or anything <laughs> <But> we <you laughs> will <laughs> we just put our dog down earlier this week yeah Duchess. he's on the mural <laughs> Duchess. Yeah. Um, yeah so anyways not to bring us down or anything sorry. like that <laughs> <laughs> all right so you oh, i want to ask are you doing so twice a month podcast or is it just kind of oh okay uh, i'm a release on fridays mainly no i probably keep it at fridays friday morning so a lot of my people can hear it on the way to work or whatever yeah yeah that's most of your plays right in the car you people download it listen yeah well it. or i clean houses for a living so like you i constantly have a podcast going nice yeah. so uh do you listen to tuesdays with stories mark oh. norman no. oh no I like Mark, though. Uh, Mark features on a bunch of the other ones I listen to, and I like Mark Norman. Yeah. yeah. We just saw him in Salt Lake. Yeah, just a couple weeks ago yeah. in Salt Lake City. He was actually supposed to podcast with us, but he flaked on us. Big old loser. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then after the show, slapped Chris on the ass and said, I'll call you. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, what? He never called. No, he didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. so what does your wife think of your podcasting? Is she She seemed down. No, yeah, she's she's honestly all about it. My wife has always been super supportive on just about anything I've ever wanted to do or done. And uh, yeah, she's all about it. And she's she was excited to do it with me. And I, I told her, I was like, hey, the first one, I 100% want you on it with me. And she was like, yeah, yeah of course. 
course. And uh, my wife will definitely be on more episodes coming up. <laughs> oh, nice. She yeah. sounded comfortable, too. Didn't even want to do it and just mic skills like a chick. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because <laughs> our first one, we were like, what do we say now? Yeah, our <laughs> like, first literally. one was horrible. Because I said at one point, how do we end these? <laughs> yeah, it was bad. Uh, and we only went for like five minutes. Six. It was six minutes uh, <laughs> and there was zero editing to it. Yeah, no nothing. editing. I didn't know how to edit at that point. <laughs> what do you guys use for your editing? Um, I edit... So basically what I do now is I, um, the audio goes right into my camera. So I just edit the video and then I usually don't have to mess with any of my, cause all my audio settings are on my mixer here. So I usually don't have to mess with the audio after that at all, unless something goes screwy. Um, and then once I edit the whole video, um, I'll just extract the audio from that. And then but we go. edit the video through. Uh, we, yeah, we use an app called Kinemaster. So I do all the editing on my iPad. Um, it's called Kinemaster and, uh, we think it is, it's so it is officially it's called Kinemaster. Yes. We've heard people say kind master. We're like, what the hell? (laughs) Yeah. So it's a really good app. Um, we've been using it, uh, ever since we started doing video podcasts, which has been since episode 40, but, um, yeah, we just extract the audio and, uh, it's, you know, I do all that on the iPad too. There's apps to extract audio from your video and things like that. So nice. Yeah. So the first podcast that I edited was actually the one that's coming out this Friday. Yeah. It, the episode's probably an hour and like 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. Dang. It took me six hours to edit it. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Wait till you start doing video. <laughs> Man. <laughs> it really took me like a com- combination of four different days to- yeah what are you using to edit uh i've been using audacity right now oh, okay see i was using when we did just audio i used reaper oh yeah yeah do you like it yeah i like audacity because i can do uh so i tried a different one i can't remember which one i tried it the first time but it wouldn't let me do multiple channels on it mm. so all blend again in together yeah but when I edited, I did like cut out every like, um, every like, oh, pop- did you? Oh. Yeah. It's, it's crazy how you realize the weird things you say when you speak. I say the word. Yeah. <laughs> way too much that I want to put a sign in front of me that says, don't fucking say. Yeah. <laughs> Own that shit and put yeah on that poster behind you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. We should. Yeah. I know, right? See? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Awesome. So your next episode is coming out. What's the date on that? Ooh, what's next Friday? The what's the date? Seven? Yeah, fourteenth. Oh, yeah, nice. The fourteenth. Awesome. So I'm looking at your notes. Wendy did all the uh, research on this one here. Um, oh, thick boy. Oh yeah, thick boy T-shirt that we saw. You Brendan Schaub Brendan fan? Brendan Schaub. Yes, I'm all about the thick. I I am a true member of the Thick Boy Club. <laughs> <laughs> Solid two forty right here. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, Brennan. Uh, Did I've, you see him when he? Oh no, I, that, this was Boise. Have you seen him in con- or in? Yeah, so I, I met him, got a picture with him, and stuff like that. This was before I even thought about doing podcasting. But yeah, he headlined here at the Tacoma Comedy Club. And uh, yeah, it was a great, it was a great show. Great show. Nice. We've never seen him. He actually no, brought. He came to Boise, but we didn't go. Yeah. Um, I think it was during the like kind of the height of the pandemic at the time, so we weren't really doing. So much. super yeah. funny. Yeah, he was hilarious. I I was really excited for it too because he was supposed to bring Joey Diaz with him. Oh my god. Oh. God, I guess. But he forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Joey fucking forgot. He Probably. took a hundred milligram of something. No, he does like a thousand. Yeah, a thousand. Milligrams. Oh yeah, a hundred would be nothing for him. No, hundred <laughs> wouldn't touch him. You're wild. Pass I mean, out. Is <laughs> Bert Kreischer show on uh, Netflix? Or you oh like- my god, the cabin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen it. She's watched it. Oh, it's him and Bobby Lee. I was like, I can't watch. What the hell? <laughs> Bobby, he's funny. He's funny. His brother's actually really funny too. Stevie Weeby. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Seriously, I talk about these people like I know them in she the does, house. I'm like, today to Bert is in Serbia, <laughs> you know, or whatever the hell. And he's like, Bert, oh, Kreischer, okay. Yeah. 
awesome. Yeah, like it's a friend of hers. I do. <laughs> yeah. I love all those humans. They are just cool. Yeah. yeah. And I love how they all help each other. You yeah. know, they have each other on e- everybody's podcast and promote each other. It's just cool. All right. So I got to know what you guys are drinking on here. Uh, oh. Well, that was Fireball. With oh. vodka. <laughs> it's all oh, the yeah. sweet stuff. Oh, both oh, those. Hello. What are you with- drinking? So actually, I'm drinking. Have you guys heard of Yingling? No. No. So Yingling is an East Coast beer. And uh, I haven't had it. And you can't find it anywhere around here. So my parents actually just moved up here from Mississippi. And we've been talking them into moving up here forever, trying to. And they came. And my dad brought me two cases of Yingling. So. Oh, nice. Thank you, Dad. Nice. <laughs> so they officially moved? Yep. They're uh, <laughs> legit Washingtonians now. Wow. That would wow. be, I've never been to Mississippi, but I'm assuming that's a huge change of scenery and people oh, and just everything red state to blue state to hot oh, state yeah. to cold and rainy state. <laughs> yeah. Wow. True. Isn't Mississippi really humid too? Super humid. Super. You have yeah. alligators? Uh, it, it, way further south. Yeah, we're, we're closer to the north, um, closer to Tennessee. But uh, yeah, super humid. You sweat walking to your vehicle. Oh, I hated oh, that. Geez. Yeah, Michigan's like that. Take a shower and you're wet right after you dry off. Yeah. It's not no point. Ugh. That's the thing I like about Idaho. There's like no humidity here. It's dry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very super dry. Super dry. Yeah. yeah. So we got um, some more questions here. Yeah. What do you have? Oh, what's one thing you wish you had known when you began podcasting? One thing, one thing. I wish I had just bought the best equipment to start out. Yeah. Yeah. I think that'd be the main thing. Cause honestly, I could have released an episode like a month and a half ago if it wasn't for the actual equipment. Yeah. Yeah. Now the original equipment that you bought, uh, was that, uh, were those uh, things that were suggested by like these YouTube videos you watched? Yeah. So they were like the top rated for like the, the, the cheapest price, honestly. You yeah. Know? I bought the, uh, what was it? The Scarlet 2i2. So I yeah. Record with two people being another person. Yeah. I know that it one. It was fine, but it, I don't know why with my Mac computer, it just would not like correlate with anything. Oh, lame. And oh, I, really? I wanted also a portable setup because I can still take this, just the, the base of the board, and it has a memory card, and I can just record straight off that. Oh, nice. Yeah. So that that was another big reason why I switched everything up and spent an extra. Yeah. <laughs> how much? Yeah, make sure your wife's not around. <laughs> an extra how much? Probably probably five, six hundred, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't tell you how much money we've put into this. Oh, uh, I bet. Your, your guys' setup looks awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, we, we used to rent a room and we called it the Toasted Marshmallow. That was prior to the podcast. But at one point, that room was like paying for podcast shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like we The payoff was fucking people were in our house. Yeah. You know? <laughs> We'd like kick them out occasionally to podcast. Yeah, exactly. It's expensive. but. Yeah. It really is. We're, and yeah. we're still like, this is a hobby until you get paid. It's like yeah. the coolest hobby you've ever had. But <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it's really, I mean, it's fun. I mean, you meet a lot of people. Yeah, really cool. Today people. we made some awesome connections uh, in the comedy world, which was. Well, this fun. guy um, that's like running or producing the Idaho Comedy Fest actually used to work with <clears throat> Mark Norman and Joe List on their podcast. Oh, that's like, cool. holy crap. That's yeah. So, so cool. he actually, I told him, I was like, Hey, Mark Norman flaked on us. He was going to be on our, he podcast. was going to, he was supposed to podcast with us. So he actually took a video and said, Hey, Mark, you flaked on these guys. You got to do a fucking podcast with them. <laughs> yeah. And you know, he's so got Mark's cool. number and sent it to him. Yeah. I'm like, Oh my God, this Good. is way cool. So. so yeah, that's our, if we were to give you a tip, it's to, um, like, network yeah network talk to people there. yeah we've Don't. just recently learned that <laughs> yeah. honestly i mean honestly yeah once we started doing that yeah well, now we're seeing like 
big shifts in our numbers. Yeah. Um, just getting out there, um, really just talking to people about being on your podcast. Um, you know, usually those people will follow you and hopefully they'll watch or listen at some point. Yeah. yeah, for so sure. It's really about like your online presence. Honestly. Seems like, yeah. It. Yeah. Which is a struggle when you have a full-time gig and kids yeah. and a wife, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's rough. I mean, it's, it's like having another job. It is. Yeah. yeah. If you yeah. want to at so, some point make money from it. For sure. Social media has been a big helping to getting stuff out. Yeah. A, comedian, a headlining comedian from Seattle came to the house and recorded with me. And uh, the, yeah. it's kind of a funny story because I was like, hey, I used to record for about 45 minutes to an hour. Same as you guys, I said. And um, he's like, all right, cool. And he gets here and we end up recording for almost three and a half hours. Oh, wow. Holy and, crap. Yeah. That's crazy. <clears throat> That's cool. Oh, cutting it up laughing oh awesome yeah. that'll be huge yeah so i think i'm gonna make that a two-parter but um he uh we i actually found out that i knew him the whole time and i actually played football with him when he's playing semi-pro football up here oh like, wow yeah, oh, really I know exactly who you are i was like why didn't you tell me that before you came here <laughs> <laughs> oh that's awesome wow yeah, yeah. that's cool Three, that's like Joe Rogan time frame on a podcast yeah. three and a half hours. <laughs> yeah. We were just talking about. We we're like, uh, he's like, holy shit, it's one o'clock. I was like, I gotta work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah sometimes you just lose track of time when it's just kind of flowing back yeah. and forth. Yeah. Yeah. We've but never when... done three hours. No, we haven't done three hours <laughs> and we are on episode 70 something. So. <laughs> so impressive yeah we were just talking tonight about how rogan does like two of those a day yeah he records four times a week now oh my god three hours it's really honestly i mean for us we're introverts so doing Mm -hmm. a podcast and kind of trying to bring energy to it it's exhausting for (laughs) us honestly yeah i think what was worked so well with that one is like i feed off other people's energy and I'd say I'm more of an extrovert, but me and him just matched each other's energy. And we were just yeah. level the whole time. Uh, he's actually a super funny guy. His name's Dante Suitman Productions. It's super good. Oh, cool. When does that come out? Uh, the following Friday. Nice. The following that one okay. Out. What'd you say his name was? Dante Suitman Productions Barnett. Oh, we'll Dante. have to look him okay, up. Okay, yeah. I'll take a look at him on Instagram. Cool. Oh. Yeah, awesome. What else do we have here? No, we've got. What advice would you give someone wanting to pursue this? Ooh. <laughs> Save your money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Save. Yeah. yeah. Really. I would just say um, really do some research because. I almost released an episode and uh, I listened to it about three or four times before I released it. And I was like, oh, this is bad. <laughs> like, yeah. Put that out into the world. What way was it bad? My, my intro was super bad. My volume levels were completely off. Um, There's a lot of, I didn't do any editing on it whatsoever. It was. Yeah. And uh, I realized I just really let it fly. And I realized like one sentence, I was like, hey, motherfucking, fucking, fucking, fucking. I, was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, come on. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> that old military mouth. <laughs> yeah. Are you, do you, tr- are you trying to keep yours clean? Or no. Do you have any, I, I do have any sp- rules? But it was super like <laughs> overused. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. like f word every other word i feel like we <laughs> swore way more at the beginning i think we did i think yeah. at the beginning you kind of like use that as a crutch yeah you're like oh um, i could cuss awesome yeah and so yeah, you I think did. that's like that's what's entertaining people and i think now we cuss a lot less because yeah. we talk more and we're that, trying to yeah i mean that's not a strong suit of ours because <laughs> I mean, we're super private people, and this yeah, is the most really weird. we've really been out there to the yeah. public. Oh, you're fully out there with this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, 
Have you thought about like how personal you're going to get? Like, have you drawn lines in your mind? Because like, you're going to need to at some point, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I've asked, um, the one with, uh, Dante as well, got pretty deep as well. And I, I, I asked them before, like anybody comes on, I'm like, Hey, what's off limits. Yeah. Let me know now, like, and I won't even like mention or tiptoe around it or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, most of the people I've on have been just super real. And that's the main thing that I wanted was just, I want to be super real and just super, if it's blunt, Hey, sorry, that's what it is. Yeah. I yeah, just, that's how I feel about podcasting. You can just be honest. You can be and, who you are. Yeah, really, for it's, the most part, mm-hmm. unless your dad watches. Just fully out there. <laughs> My dad's our biggest fan. I mean, he watches every single episode. And sometimes it's like, sorry, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> sorry about what just happened here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We just had a guy on, William Strange, who puts a, I mean, maybe you do. I don't know. But he <laughs> puts a, what, it's called sounding. And you put, he put the end of a pen into his urethra. Stop his it. Penis. Yeah. Stop. yeah. So he was a comedian, but he was also in like the BDSM, BDSM community. Oh. And, and we we're picturing Chris's dad listening or watching this. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah, is- we're fine hearing it, but like at 70 something, you're like, mm. you never know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't. <laughs> That's great. So that's what we're talking about. Like you, might, you might come into some situations where you're like, "Huh, how do I handle yeah. this one?" Yeah. So I'll be super honest. I think my my struggle with that on that front of like the authenticity of it is, uh, I'm definitely like a God fearing man, and um, mm-hmm. and we go to church, and I take my family, and uh, a lot of people from church was like, "Hey, listen to your podcast," and I was like. Okay, just let you know the next one's gonna be a little more like racy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so I think that's my only like thing in my mind is like like I'm not gonna fake it, but at the same time, hey, you guys are gonna have to know what it is. That's yeah, you don't want to offend people. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And I have to watch out for like work because I work at a psychiatric hospital. And so, you know, and it's really odd every once in a while i have a co-worker come up to me and like mention something out of one of our recent podcasts and i didn't know they fucking listened or yeah, watched like, oh, <laughs> so, yeah. like oh shit what did i say in that one what were we doing yes <laughs> yeah i've had a couple of my co-workers text me and they were like dude that's pretty good he's like next one coming out and i was like what what, what, you, what? oh god yeah. like what i say yeah <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Crazy. it is wild it is because sometimes yeah. you forget like you're recording that yeah it's just like you're so into it and then you're like yeah. oh my god i said what well so, and we've had people on the podcast that have actually talked about their relationships and then once it comes out that causes a little bit of a, yeah. a tiff in their relationship because they were being honest on the podcast <laughs> and their uh significant other would hear it and be like what what the fuck oh that's <laughs> right that, that did happen Melinda. we we saw like a facebook fight right before our eyes yeah, after her, our podcast yeah. <laughs> Because she said her husband never took her anywhere. It's ridiculous. But yeah. I was like, what the fuck? I took you right here last weekend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what are your goals for the podcast? What's your hopes and dreams? <sighs> hopes and dreams. Mm-hmm. I'd be incredible to get paid, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, make your be a profit. Mm-hmm. But uh, that's that's not my main goal. I mean, honestly, I guess my main goal is just to put real, authentic content out there. You yeah. know, stuff that people listen to and they're like, yeah, I can relate to that. Mm-hmm. You know, like already you guys have mm-hmm. in some aspect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that's the main thing for me, honestly. Just trying so to just to kind of connect with people and. Yeah. I'm now not is sure. your goal to do. Um mostly interviews or solo podcasts i don't think i could do a solo podcast Have yeah you- me either <laughs> it, it, those are impressive so i yeah. listen to, i listen to only one it's called lore have you guys heard of that Mm-mm. i've yeah. heard of it but i haven't listened to it kind of cool he just tells uh he has like a super like theatric voice and it's all like nice and velvety and, <laughs> and yeah. he just tells like old stories and uh it's super cool 
but uh no i couldn't sit there and just talk to myself for an hour yeah i can't do that either so you're gonna pretty much strictly do interviews and yeah so i don't want it to be like interview style though i just want it to be a cool conversation between a couple people that's our basically our goal when we do when we have guests yeah is to yeah just have a conversation and try to just make it flow yeah, for sure. I think like when the conversation like kind of ends, that's when you like throw in a question. But uh, I mean, it's, you're definitely going to get the knowledge that or the inf- content or information that you're wanting. But uh, yeah, I, I want it to be just strictly uh, just bullshitting with somebody else like I am with you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. That's really cool. Are well, you having a hard time finding guests? No, honestly. Oh, nice. Lined up probably. 10 to 12 honestly wow so what uh what can we expect in the future from full-blown adulting podcast what do you got coming up in your interviews so i got an ex nfl football player coming on here soon okay Damn. Uh, ron baines he's a huge in the pierce county community uh, i got some crazy family members for sure coming on <laughs> yeah. nice. those are the best yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna let those fly too i'm gonna go in on those yeah good uh, I have the my my military buddies are coming on. I have uh, Dante coming on, comedians. Um, I think I'm gonna try to get some more comedians because I feel like th- those have been some of my more favorite recordings that I've done. Yeah, those are fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, and I I haven't met a comedian that I just don't love their energy, and I'm just feeding off of them the whole time. Yeah, yeah. they're an awesome community. Yeah, they really are like good people. Some they're of like- them wacky and weird, but that's like cool. Yeah, yeah, some of them are oddballs, but yeah, we're like currently like penetrating that community right now. Yeah, good, good people. Yeah, yeah. Is the comedy scene pretty big around there? Um, we have a pretty good comedy scene, like with our local comics. Um, we don't get a lot of headliners in here, mm-hmm. um, but right now, coming up May twentieth through the twenty second, um, there's Idaho Comedy Fest that is being produced. Uh, by uh stand up new york um that's actually so the, all their comics are coming yeah, to so we're IDO. getting a bunch of new york comics that are coming to idaho and since like oregon and washington are close they were saying like a lot of comedians are coming from there yeah. um and so we just actually did a podcast with uh one of the uh production people for stand up new york and then the owner of the venue that the uh, whole gonna, festival is yeah. going to happen it's at. pretty cool it like started as a joke like let's put on a festival in idaho like what's in idaho like, caught and, on yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's pretty cool because yeah. of the pandemic i mean everything's been shit for so long that yeah. it's kind of awesome yeah have it's you guys been affected by the pandemic at all yeah well i yeah, mean we yeah, caught the- covid in november yeah we did get covid yeah over <laughs> thanksgiving when we had a ski trip planned yeah that sucked oh, no. did you yeah. get it yeah i actually got it in uh january oh and, uh, my wife like threw me in a room she's like we're not getting it you stay in there yeah <laughs> I had to watch like the super bowl by myself and just in this tiny room did yeah. she ever catch it no, her. Wow. Oh, wow. You did good then. Yeah, I caught it in pretty much immediately. Gave Instantly. It to you. I yeah. was like, I have it. I can't taste yeah. anything. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. dude. Yeah, it's weird. I didn't lose taste or smell. Oh, whoa. I lost smell, but not taste. What were your symptoms? So, honestly, the first day I just had like a headache and then I had um, like body aches. The body aches were the worst part for me. But then I woke up really the next morning i felt like 50 percent better and then in three days i was i felt 100 yeah that was that's kind of how mine was yeah yeah, yeah mine definitely. was like five days of i don't want to do shit yeah <laughs> i'm just laying here my wife was but, like no, you're staying in that room <laughs> <laughs> wow so she hasn't had it yet no she hadn't got it that's crazy being in the same house yeah and she didn't get it I feel like yeah. you done good <laughs> Yeah, we fucked that up. <laughs> Gave it to you, then your mom and your stepdad. Yeah, yeah, he spread it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I work at a psych hospital, so I'm dealing. I mean, I deal with a lot of people every day. I'm dealing with the homeless community. Yeah, you know, I'm dealing with the mental illness community, and so I mean, it's just it just came in. <laughs> <laughs> 
So which uh, comedian would you have on if you could? Theo? Ooh, oh, oh, he'd be so fun. Hilarious. Wouldn't uh, he be fun? Yeah, Theo would be so fun. I love Theo's style of comedy. Yeah. So he he is like a genius. Sometimes it's like, dude, how did you get there? Yeah, it almost seems like he's dumb, but he's yeah. not. <laughs> smart but i yeah. think it'd probably be brendan still would it really yeah, I holy like holy crap is his whole i don't know did you follow part, him prior to comedy yeah so i was actually a big fan of brendan's when he was in the ufc there you um, go so yeah it kind of so it even it made it way better like yeah. ufc and comedy are you kidding yeah, me huge in rogan and uh i really like brian callen as well yeah so when all those just guys started getting together, I was like, this is great. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about everybody coming down on Ka- Callen? Yeah, I thought that do you was... Think it, do you think it's true? No. It's... I mean, it's so hard to say yes or no because I'm such a fan, you know? I know. But... It's crazy. Him and Dalia, it's like, oh my God, what's going on? And now Dalia's all into his baby and he's like, look, I have a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> trying not to cheat on her (laughs) both of them though have made their money they're they're fine yeah Yeah. they're fine they're like okay we'll disappear for a little bit we'll be back (laughs) yeah like 10 months yeah (laughs) like and they both came out like within a week of each other it seemed like they're back i was like what they must have coordinated that (laughs) maybe yeah it's weird and now there's like no mention of it i haven't heard anything no he's he's been on He's been back with the fighter and the kid too. A few oh, times. has he? Yeah. But he's not. It's he not they hired time. two black guys, right? Yeah. So he actually, I think he just let one of them go. Oh, so really? Still got Chappelle Lacey. And I think he let um the other guy go. But yeah, I think Brennan's just gonna be doing a duo for a while. Oh, but Callan is definitely not coming back. No, Callan started a new podcast as well with another- Oh, I didn't know that who the other guy it's like called like bears in the forest or something like that bears in the forest (laughs) (laughs) yeah it's something weird that sounds like a combo of like two bears one cave (laughs) yeah like (laughs) are (laughs) yeah huh how'd you guys come up with your name oh (laughs) it was actually kind of a joke yeah it definitely was well, because when we we started uh, renting this room on booking.com um, and they said, you can change the name anytime. So we were like, we were coming back from a ski trip and we we're like, wouldn't it be funny if it was a toasted marshmallow? So yeah. I wrote it in and you could not change the name easily. Not easily, no. So then we, we became a location on Google and a, you know, like. So after that, so yeah, they basically the room that we rented on booking.com was called Toasted Marshmallow. Yeah. Um, and then we were basically we decided to start doing videos on YouTube mm-hmm. and we added adventures, adventures. So it was Toasted Marshmallow Adventures. And we were doing these pretty cheesy videos on, cheesy. <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. And if you scroll down to like our first videos bottom. on our YouTube, you can see them. They're the and they're, they're fucking entertaining. Like uh, unintentional comedy, probably. <laughs> it's voiceover uh, work. It yeah. sucks. Yeah, we weren't exactly. good. <laughs> um, and so, so then we were toasted marshmallow adventures. We got with one of our friends to make us a logo that did uh, graphic design. Mm-hmm. And um we were i was big into comedy before i met wendy and she knew about podcasts i didn't know what the fuck a Mm -hmm. podcast was and but i like stand-up comedy um so she introduced me to podcasts i kind of introduced her to stand-up comedy and that just kind of came together and one day i was like hey we should start uh, doing a podcast and she goes, well, what the fuck would we no. talk about? Who would listen to us? Six months. I was like, uh-uh. and so I, I was like, all right. Okay. About six months later, she goes, we should do a podcast. Yeah. This is a really good idea. <laughs> yeah. And My so, idea. Yeah. And then it was her idea. And so that just jumped it off. And I was like, all right, cool. And I started just researching, buying all the shit, returning shit. 
um, and just figuring out how to do it. How did you come up with your name? Just like, is it based on your life? Three kids, a wife, a job? So <laughs> I tried to make it kind of funny when I did it. And I wanted to be, I wanted to be like a kind of a little play on words. So I honestly, the first day that my wife bought my microphone and gave it to me, I started thinking of names and I wrote probably about 20 or so down. And then I took, I went to her and I probably three hours later, I went to her and I was like, Hey, I got this name. It's between <laughs> one or two. She's like, okay, let me hear it. I was like, hold on. I don't know which one I'm going to tell her yet. So I <laughs> literally flipped a coin on which one I was going to tell her. Oh, gee. And I was like, all right, babe, you ready? She's like, yeah. I was like, all right. What do you think of kind of adulting? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah she's like what are you talking about we are full-blown adults right now <laughs> our favorites kids and i was like that's it <laughs> nice. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> how old are you guys uh so my wife is 29 and i am 28 dang oh, 47 yeah 51 what? What? Old school. <laughs> so uh, you are doing all the shit that we do not want to do anymore. <laughs> like raising kids, raising little yeah. kids. <laughs> I've what? already done that. I'm done. Yeah, I never did it. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, yeah. She doesn't have any kids. No. I too. Yeah. So dang, it's a lot. So bravo, taking on a. I mean, a podcast is a huge deal it if is. you commit to it. You know. I'm definitely gonna. I'm not going to say try. I know I'm going to stay committed to it. Awesome. I really enjoy it, honestly. Like there are going to be weeks, time. though, I promise you, where you're like, eh, discouraged. Um, oh, yeah. yeah it gets, <laughs> sometimes you get down, just push through that. Yeah. You'll have something in your, you'll be like, oh, this is gold. This is what's going to make me <laughs> yeah. and whatever. And you'll spend all this time working on it yeah. and producing it. Nobody and will watch this it. Masterpiece and you put it out and no, no one nobody fucking cares. watches. <laughs> nobody cares. Or listens. Yeah. No. It sucks. <laughs> and just push through that. <laughs> yeah. Get through that. Keep mm -hmm. doing what you're doing. It okay. always pays off. I, mean, I feel we're like we're still growing. We're still small and. Yeah, I'm but growing. it's we like live in little increments. We go, oh, we got. We got to celebrate oh, all we, the. You really have to victories. Yeah, yeah, just any positive. You're like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, how long did it take you guys to release your first episode from when you started? We were probably so from the time you said we should do a podcast to our first episode, I would say it was somewhere between three to six months. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It took a while. Yeah, just figuring shit out. Like, what equipment do I need? You know, I bought like a bunch of USB mics at first, and I was like, no, those aren't going to work. So I sent those all back, <laughs> bought different microphones. And since then, oh, and I then we got free mics on accident from Amazon. Oh, we did get, we ordered four mics from Amazon and, and got six. five. Oh, five. Yeah. <laughs> so, bonus. I have spare mics still in the <laughs> yeah. box that we haven't even touched. <laughs> yeah but what so. we really want is those mics i mean i do want the sure sm7b's that oh, all sick that ones big podcasters are using but they're 400 bucks a piece <laughs> yeah they're crazy yeah we're like 1600 really with road mics both of the ones i have the uh procaster here yeah the mic they're both really good sound quality oh yeah. nice and what do those run uh, I think so. The Procaster, I think, runs about 250, and the pod mics you can find for about 100. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are the pod mics just uh, USB? No, they're they're XLR as well, they're dynamic. Oh, okay, they're a uh, let me show you. Sorry, yeah, the pod mics are a little shorter. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. And do you notice a big difference in sound between the two? difference honestly huge difference Very and I, I had i bought some just like little like 50 dollar mics off yeah <laughs> amazon at first and uh yeah it, it's night and day honestly dang it yeah i've done that tried <laughs> to get away with the cheap shit and yep. even up sending it back <laughs> pay for quality unfortunately i know yeah, definitely 
Yeah. Awesome. Well, before we get out of here, is there anything else you want to plug? Um, any episode you're excited about? What's coming up in your life? Yeah, I'm just really excited for the next episode I'm releasing, which is going to be on the 14th with my one of my best friends, Aaron. And I'm super stoked with that. And, and what platforms are you on? So I'm on everything right now besides Apple Podcasts. How long did it take you guys to get on Apple Podcasts? Well, <laughs> let me tell <laughs> you about tell Apple. You. Yeah. Apple he, he was give our, you some tips yeah. for sure. So, but I would assume that if you're on Spotify, you should be okay to be on Apple. I feel um, like Apple's glitchy. Apple... So basically your podcast artwork has to be one-to-one. So the same number of pixels vertically and horizontally, which there are apps that'll do that. And that was the reason why ours wasn't getting picked up on Apple at all. Yeah, weird. I made sure I did a 3000 by 3000. Okay, then you should be fine. Did you go to um, Apple Podcast Connect? I have not, no. Go there. You got it. That's where you put in your RSS feed. And as long as your artwork is good on your podcast hosting platform, then you should be fine. Bye, man. Let's go. I had so many people messaging me and they're like, I have to download an app. I'm like, yeah, sorry, dude. I'm like, you want to listen? Or not? Yeah. <laughs> Apple was our biggest setback. It was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It took a long time. And once we figured that out, um, then now we got us, we got our podcast everywhere. So Apple, Spotify, yeah, Google. Go up uh, Apple. Yeah, so go to Apple Podcast Connect. That's where you'll put in your SS, uh, RSS feed and, you know, you'll get out there on Apple. So, Yeah, because I searched you and I was like, holy shit, he's not on Apple. Yeah, that's and why. And we weren't for a no, long time. No, it took us We were forever. only on SoundCloud and CastBox for, for a long time. at least a year. Until I figured out how <laughs> RSS feeds worked. <laughs> Did you guys go through Anchor? Uh, no, we use um, Libsyn. Libsyn. Oh, okay. So I, I started with Anchor and they were supposed to just, I thought, do it all, <laughs> you know, just put yeah, it Yeah, no, they don't. <laughs> None of them do it all. Like they have their set ones that they'll distribute to, but all the other ones you have to submit your RSS feed to get your podcast on them. Got you. Awesome yeah. information. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. So we just did a search or several searches of like, I just where do we put our podcast? Yeah, all the popular yeah. ones. So <laughs> just keep searching and there's a ton of them. Yeah, there's right? so many. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it's crazy right. the learning you got to do. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. Like yeah. just going back to school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Super awesome meeting you, dude. And we hope you are successful and making money at your podcast and your kids and your wife are well and I keep in touch. It. I really do. I appreciate that so much. Thank you guys for having me on. And uh, hopefully I can have you guys on mine soon. That'd be great. Yeah, That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Take care. Thank you. All right. I'm signing out. I'm signing off. I'm Chris Adams. I'm Wendy Moser. Hashtag get toasted. Stay toasted. And thank Ooh. you, Ashton Bruce. Ashton Bruce. Check out full, ba- full blown apostle. Ah. Full blown <laughs> Adulting podcast. Thank you guys. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Bye, Ashton. Thank- or Bruce. You you prefer Bruce. Thank you. Yeah. Take care. Thank you. All right. Have a good night. <laughs> I'll send you the link uh, when this is out. Awesome, man. I'm going to need one of those shirts, too. If I got to pay for it, I will. I need that. Let's get toasted. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Um, actually, go to our website, toastymarsh.com. <laughs> Look at him. Always promoting. <laughs> and they're on there. Yeah, men's and women's. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I See ya. No Have a good night. <laughs>